It has now been 30 races since the Ford has gone to victory lane this year. The other thing these guys are going to have to be careful of, somebody runs out of fuel in the middle of this. Man, what a big problem that could create. Now you can see that. If somebody run out of fuel right there in the middle of that group, it would cause a huge wreck. We've heard. Oh, here's a car oh, upside down. Big time crash upside oh, down. Oh, Ryan Newman. See Kevin Harvick there. Marcus Am Ambrose. Ambrose is there, comes across. Harvick stops, and Newman's car comes to rest upside down on its roof. And watch the car get turned around. Oh, yes. He and his teammate, Tony Stewart, got into the wall, but you see it turns Ryan Newman around. As soon as it does, it's almost like that wing acts as a, to help to lift the car up. Lands on Kevin Harvick's hood. Johnny, Johnny Sauter inside, it's three wide. Forced his way to the middle. Middle of three. You're middle of three. Come on, 13. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're crashing. Rhodes in the crash. Keep digging. Crashed it up and over. And Cass Grala looks to me like will win this race. No surprise to me that exiting the corner is when the trouble happened. It just was a very aggressive push. Yeah, it looked like Grant Enfinger was trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt Crafton up and over. There's Johnny Sauter up in the middle of the mess. You, you know, you're Michael Walker, you can't like seeing this because one of those two lines of cars behind you is going to start to move and you have to guess which one. Well, that's why he's doing what he's doing. He's just mirror driving all over the racetrack. Terrible crash. Okay, man. Cares. Okay, guys, back it down. Back it down. We're not racing. There he is, right in the middle. And these guys are Dyson. Go ahead, BP. And there he makes contact. He comes down trying to get in front of Kurt Busch. They make contact. And watch that thing fly. And there that it lands on that road you talked about. And then when it gets onto the racetrack again, it takes another nasty flip. Watch this hit. Oh, that's the hard one right here. Oh, man. Here's Blaney. He'll swing wide to the outside. De Benedetto will do the same. Now Harvick finds himself in the middle with minimal drafting help. Elliott leads the lane down low. Oh, Legato gets turned. Legato is upside down. He'll slam back into the racetrack on the roof of the car. The car is spinning wildly out of control. Now it flips back out onto all four wheels. Others are collected, and others evade Joey Legato, who goes for a tumble at the end of the Alabama gang super stretch. It started at the end of the back straight away when Joey Logano got turned and immediately the car began to get airborne. When it did, it went all the way up in the air and it came down on the roof of the car. The car then began to spin pirouettes on the banking with everybody scattering to avoid. Brad Keselowski got collected. The Logano car got righted back on all four wheels and then slid to the bottom of the banking here at the end of the back straightaway. To the bottom of the racetrack, Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to stay in front of the pack. They work their way through three and four. Into the triumph they come. Dale Earnhardt Jr. to the bottom of the track. Jr. will win in Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. Oh my God. bottom. Rex starts in front. He runs in the back of the 24. Gets up on the 11. Now he's on top of the 50.5. And now it's just a long for the run. Watch the car stop. Watch the car stop. It gets into those poles. And it goes from, I don't know, what, 180, 190 miles an hour. I'm just guessing to a complete stop. That is unbelievable. And that, it looks like a tour. That's 30 500 pounds. That, that stock car is extremely heavy. You see here after he's upside down, the two is, is spinning. Obviously, he's already lost control, makes more contact. Look at Jarrett in the green car. He jumped down the inside. He's putting him up in the third place. A while ago, we saw Jarrett and Earnhardt were capable of pull away a little bit. They're trying to oh, break trouble. trouble behind Rusty Wallace is turning over. Rusty Wallace, 20 feet in the air, spinning, crashing. Well, I'll tell you, when they're running that close together and jockeying around position, you just know that things like this are going to happen. There's Jarrett. He gets in the line. 
the 66 car right behind Waltrip. Looked like they tapped, they touched yep. right there, the 66. 66. And, and then it, Rusty, he gets clipped right there, turns sideways, and we know what happened after that. The air gets another car. Yeah, it looked like the 66 and, and the 30. Got to look at Rusty's car, how high in the air. Real violent flips right here. Montoya. Boy, he's struggling. Searching his Put first. Put on it now. Three to go. Oval, first oval track win. He won it in Finneon 96 races ago on the road course. And who Half do a you... second. And the 99 has turned over Brad Keselowski. And we have a caution. My goodness. Uh, I don't know if I'm okay. Keselowski was on track for a sixth place finish. Boy, that's... We're told there was contact between Edwards and Keselowski. A little crossover move here by Carl. Clean here, clean here. Just slight contact. Oh, Look at that gosh. thing go. That looks so much like Edwards' turnover at, at Talladega, Talladega off the bumper of Keselowski. It really did. Seven laps complete this time by, and look at this pack. Trouble off trouble board. Trouble. Newman slams the wall. Mar oh, man. It comes Schrader, and Newman is in Newman. the air oh. and over. Ryan Newman, last year's rookie of the year, oh, on the God. rear end ripped from the car as he slides down the asphalt. And when that car hit the grass of the trioval, Ryan Newman went upside down. Let's watch her here and see what happens. Well, Kenny Schrader got out of control, got into him. Oh, it's, that's what happened, Mike. His right rear tire came off. Car goes airborne. Then when it hits the ground, it digs in and just rips it apart. Let me tell you, the way these cars are inside, he's like he's in a capsule in there. Here they come off the fourth corner. Ernie Urban leads them down now. Is he going to win the Winston 500? Jimmy Spencer is second. They come through the trioval. Checkered is waving. Ernie Urban wins, and Rusty Smith and gets airborne and flips wildly right at the start-finish line, very reminiscent of his accident at Daytona. Earnhardt comes down on the inside, trying to draft Rusty and go right out of the picture, and it looks, there he is, Earnhardt right up on the back bumper of Rusty, and he does touch him, that's and why around he goes. That's one reason that Dale Earnhardt went down there. That's why he was so concerned, because he touched Rusty Wallace to start this situation it looks like and the car overturns about six or seven times pirouetting on its nose does anybody have anything left for the race leader ryan newman off turn four checkered flag is waving at the start finish line who will get here first newman down oh, he's gonna get turned ryan blaney denny hamlin across the line denny hamlin will go back to back newman flipping across the start finish line in a an amazing finish here is here in Daytona, we want to make sure that we know exactly when the caution flag came out. Denny Hamlin will go back to back here at Daytona. Boy, it all broke out coming off turn number four. Newman got turned and uh, Denny able to get by, Blaney able to get by. Uh, all of our attention down there will update you there on Ryan Newman, or, or excuse me, yeah, Ryan Newman in a moment. But it's back to back for Denny Hamlin. Let's go to pit road. All right, it is a magnificent chess game that is being played here. Oh, trouble. trouble. Ricky Rudd slamming toward the wall. Flashing, rolling over, side over, side over. Ricky Rudd, Ford automobile, out of control, side over side several times. And he's, he's up a little bit higher. If you notice, he's up pretty high coming off that corner. Now, if Riddle hit him, I don't know. He could have touched him right there because all he had to do was just get a little sideways, but it looks like the car just got a little sideways, and just uh, the cars running that close together, even if you don't touch them, the wind acts like you hit each other, and uh, all he had to do was break the car loose, and 
Then when these cars get sideways, they're bad about doing just what you see here. Uh, it just looks like it's a lot more moving around. Ricky, I think, is real lucky. If that 09 can stay hooked to the back of that 99, it's going to be hard to get them. It's going to be close right here at the line. Can Keselowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. He goes to the outside. Is Edwards going to oh, no. He turns him. No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Unbelievable. Carl Edwards' car destroyed. And Junior's protege, Keselowski, the winner. And Carl Edwards is moving around and ready to climb out. But watch. The 09's going to look to the outside where he already has. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come down to try to block him again. And you get one shot at it, but you don't get two. Watch this. What a lick. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Unbelievable. You know, and, and looking very carefully at the catch fencing that held, and I did not see any debris go into the grandstand, uh, and that certainly is unbelievable. It's very gratifying to see.